So right now we are going to talk about research that matters. Uh, this is the Smart Chiropractor Show, and this segment is brought to you by the Smart Chiropractor. If you'd like to increase your number of new patients, improve your retention, and systematically and consistently generate more reactivations, check out the Smart Chiropractor. We have open enrollment going on right now. Now, and our Research That Matters segment is devoted to our weekly marketing campaign. All of our Smart Chiropractor members have monthly campaigns, weekly topics, and daily posts. That's the messaging we power for them on behalf of them through those channels such as email, social, streaming video, you name it, to stay consistent, to get out there and teach and invite consistently. Jason, this week, our weekly topic for our Smart Chiropractor members is how inflammation affects the body. This is something that can wreak havoc. Last week, we talked about how it is so intertwined with chronic disease. When you hear the word inflammation, what do you think of? <laughs> well, these days, there's a lot of different ways you can take uh, chronic inflammation. Traditionally, uh, you know, I'll say the good news about the topic is it really gives you the ability to talk about something that is very common to most people, whether they're experiencing themselves, whether they want to avoid experiencing themselves, or whether they know someone, they have a family member or somebody they're related to uh, that is suffering from some sort of chronic condition, most likely created by chronic inflammation. So, you know, what this is all designed to do is to position you, the chiropractor, as a health authority, not just a technician. Unfortunately, too many people, if you mention chiropractic, they'll say some version of, thankfully, I don't need one, as in their perception is, if I'm not in pain, why would I need to have you, quote, crack my neck? That is obviously a poor way of thinking about what it is that most of us do. So this is a way to reposition yourself as a health influencer, a health advocate, a health authority in your community so people see you as more than just a crack my neck to get out of pain transactional technician in the moment. So chronic inflammation is something that's you know, basically ubiquitous everywhere. Uh, you know, if you are talking about the jab and issues that are going on, inflammation is one of those things people are concerned about. No matter where you are on the continuum, understanding what chronic inflammation is, how to avoid it, how to address it uh, is really essential. So that's really what this month's topic is all about. You get to basically take what we do for you and then really turn it into your own messaging. And that's really the sort of the interplay of us doing the work with you and for you is that we'll set the stage we'll sort of set the ingredients for what to prepare but it's really up to you to perform it and to make it yours to design it to fit your unique practice style your unique professional messaging and we keep it broad enough on purpose because we do know that there's such a wide range of doctors out there that do teach things differently, recommend things differently. That's not our job. You're the doctor doctor. Our job, though, is to prepare the information that's beautifully designed, research-based, so you can take that baton, not have to worry. What am I going to talk about? Where's the research? How do I make it look good? What should I say? Too many chiropractors are not building their audience because they suffer from paralysis by analysis. You get so caught up into what should I talk about? What should I say? Where's the research? You spend more time thinking and no time doing. That is the reason why most docs are not doing it. So that's where you get rid of the excuse. We're going to do the hard work, the grunt work, the research, the graphic design, and so on. We'll plate it up all for you so you can take that, run with it. This is a great topic, especially around the holidays. There's no lack of people consuming sugar, no lack of people consuming alcohol, no lack of people having personal social stress. All of the igniters of chronic inflammation are happening right now as everybody speaks. You get to be the person who comes on in and hopefully helps people make some sense of what to do and how to avoid the danger and really how to make next year. Again, January is always new year, new you. How do you set yourself up for success for people in 2022? Jason, a couple of things you brought up there I want to hit home on that are so incredibly important for the docs out there. When we think about chronic inflammation, as we hit at the top and last week, it is intertwined with chronic disease. But if we even break it down just to, as you described, 
man, this time of year, people's daily habits are a little different. Let's say suboptimal in many cases. You know, they're off their schedule, off their routine. This is, there's a lot of cyclic effect to chronic inflammation, right? There's, there might be some, you know, you're eating a little bit different, you exercise a little less, you sleep a little less, you start eating a little different, exercising a little less, and sleeping a little less. So it's these patterns that individuals roll into the new year with that become some of the challenges. And again, hallmark definition of chronic inflammation, you know, when you eliminate the noxious stimuli, yet the inflammation persists. That short-term acute inflammation, great. You know, you twist an ankle, you do something, you have an acute injury, inflammation is the first step in the healing process. But once that, you know, fight or flight, once that noxious stimulus, once that initial impact impact, whatever it might be, goes away, the body is supposed to essentially calm down that inflammatory process over time as the body heals. That's the normal aspect of what happens. However, because of lifestyle habits, we see individuals that might have an acute injury, yet they end up in chronic inflammation. And a lot of this is perpetuated by the lifestyle choices they're making day in and day out. So how can you as a chiropractor really influence this in just about every way you can imagine? I don't, I mean, I don't think there's a better healthcare profession to get out there and have this communication because it comes down to what are they thinking? What's their stressors in terms of mental stressors, which everybody has this time of year specifically? What are those, you know, uh, physical aspects of what they're doing? Are they moving correctly? Are they not moving enough? What's exercise look like? And of course, we all know that if segmental motion is compromised, if somebody's not moving or they're in pain, it, it, nine times out of 10, unless they're an elite athlete, they're going to slow down the rest of their activities, building again on that compounding effect. And all of this ties into those rhythms of sleep patterns, et cetera, as well. And of course, what you're putting in in your body. Guess what? People that are less active, you know, tend to eat a little bit more and you start to get, you know, all these claims become intertwined. Depression, chronic inflammation, a lack of movement and activity, and it self-perpetuates. So you getting out there as the chiropractor, ensuring that you're doing your movement assessments, ensuring that people are moving to the best of their ability, functioning at the highest ability so that they begin to feel well. I'll tie in a concept that we spoke of earlier, which was results, you know, Results follow actions, right? Taking those action steps and the individuals in your practice, what's the action step they can take today? It might be scheduling an appointment with you so that you can assess their movement, so you can get them moving, so you can give them that little bit of oomph and inspiration for them to get over the hump. So as a chiropractor, I think chronic inflammation, while we've discussed it in terms of chronic disease, which might seem a little bit one step away from what we do day in and day out, the seeds of that are planted today, yesterday and tomorrow. So as you get in there, keep inspiring people in your practice, keep focusing on those core basics that are foundational, segmental movement, regional movement, whole body movement, ensuring and inspiring people to exercise, think positively and put the right things into their nutritional and digestive system will go a long way. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to The Smart Chiropractor. We are posting videos on how you can market your chiropractic practice in a way that teach and invites consistently. We have found that is the magic formula to big time growth. So if you like this video, be sure to comment down below, smash that subscribe button, or visit us at thesmartchiropractor.com.